Now in the next part, we're given the summary statistics for the data, the marks of these students. And we're asked to find the mean and the standard deviation then of these marks. So to find the mean, let's just put this down here, the mean, which I'm going to call x bar, is equal to the sum of all your observed values divided by however many you've got. And we've got this value here, we can see it's 2,497. And we've got n, it was 45. There were 45 students, okay? So let's just put that uh, values in. So we've got 2497 divided then by 45. And if you do that division, it turns out to be 55.4888 and so on which if we round, say, to one decimal place or three significant figures, it's going to be 55.5 then. I'll just say to one decimal place, one DP. Okay, well, that's the mean of this set of data. Now we're asked to find the standard deviation. So when you're asked to find the standard deviation, what is the formula that we would use for something like this? Well, when we've given this summary statistic, the sum of the x squared values, okay, then the formula we would want to use is the square root of the sum of those x squared values divided by n minus the mean, which I've called x bar squared. Okay, so you should be familiar with this formula. Now, if that's the case then all we need to do is substitute our values in. So we've just got to find then the square root of the sum of x squared. So we've got it up there, 143369. Okay. And divide that by n45 and then minus the mean all squared. So you could put this value down if you want to keep it exact. Why not? Let's just put that in two four nine seven over forty five and then we've got to square that. Certainly though I wouldn't put this value in, okay, otherwise it's going to lead to rounding errors. So work this out, what you get is ten point three four two one nine and so on. Okay? So again if we round this say to one decimal place, it's going to be ten 10.3 to 1 dp. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this part, and I hope you've been able to uh, follow my workings there then.